Scalability, recurring revenue and a global aspiration are the key characteristics of the new breed of fintech companies who are now graduating from a number of accelerator programs both here in Australia and around the world. My name is Ashley Jessen from Profile Booster and I recently attended the H2 Ventures Fintech Expo here in Sydney, Australia. H2 Ventures, alongside Investec and the ASX, sponsored a thought-provoking fintech expo, hosting a range of talks from exciting new fintech companies which have just graduated from the H2 Ventures Fintech Accelerator program. An audience of over 100 finance and technology professionals got to hear two very interesting panel discussions as well as a 10-minute venture pitch from six different fintech companies who are seeking additional funds to push their company to the next level. In addition, we had the two main fintech hubs, Tyro and Stone and Chaw, providing support and networking power for the very companies they are helping through their startup phase. To get underway, Ben Heap welcomed Richard Branwiener, CIO of First State Super, to engage in some inspirational talk around their new $53 billion fund to invest in fintech, biotech, and technology focused companies. Richard said investing in venture capital is so much more beneficial for the long-term wealth of a country, which was a very apt comment. Richard also mentioned that Israel has done some remarkable stuff in the fintech space over the last 12 months. Toby introduced a panel of more established fintech startups, including Chris Brickey, founder of Stockspot, Sid Segal, founder of MacroView, and Nick Vandenberg, co-founder of Simply Wall Street, to discuss some of the issues encountered early on. Regulation, people management, and removing the risk from potential investors were the three biggest focus areas discussed as stumbling blocks for early fintech ventures. Questions from the audience focused around competition and gaining traction in those early days, which can really make or break a new startup. When a new style of business is launched that disrupts the way people have been doing business, educating the marketplace is an absolute must. Unfortunately, this can be quite expensive as educating millions takes both time and money. We then heard from six fintech companies seeking additional funds to boost their business to the next level, including onmarketbookbuilds.com, metamaco.com, hashching.com.au, deposits.org, timelio.com.au, and piggymoney.com.au. Their entertaining speeches were built around their inspirational companies, which are destined for global growth and to really put Sydney on the map as far as leading fintech companies are concerned. Lastly, we had a panel discussion with Simply Wall Street, financialarts.com.au, pin.net.au, and coinjar.com all of who have had the opportunity to travel to the other fintech hubs around the world, including London, New York, and San Francisco. They provided an interesting discussion around the differences between the main fintech hubs, with many suggesting Sydney is well and truly one of the leading players in this space. A big thank you to Investec for providing the after expo refreshments, enabling plenty of networking and further discussion with the Australian companies who are leading the way forward. It truly was an inspiration to be around the entrepreneurial leaders of the future.